All right, let's take a look at this street choke again. Sometimes you need to be more worried about being fast and effective than being technical. And by technical, I mean the way that we fight other trained guys in the academy. Uh, a lot of the, the fast and, and stronger self-defense techniques are being lost because of the emphasis on sport fighting. A lot of these techniques won't work in the academy against a trained jiu-jitsu guy because he knows all the defenses and he knows where the holes are. But at the same time, they can be faster and more direct. So I really believe in making sure people learn this material before they go into, into more technical chokes. So we'll look at some of the difference here. But the main idea here is I'm, if I am facing a guy who's bigger, stronger, more aggressive, but not trained, that's the beginning of self-defense and I can use these kind of moves. As he pushes on me, I want to get behind him. I pop his hips to get his hips forward and I pull his head back. I want to be careful, but the more his head is going like this, the better it's going to be. Now, when he's, no matter how heavy he is, once his, his balance is broken like this, and particularly his posture, it's easy to sit him on his butt. Again, you want to sit him on his butt so that it's harder for him to move. Don't let him be on his knees or anything. And it's certainly possible to choke a guy from here. This is not considered a technical choke. It takes more force. Um, it may take a little longer to actually make him go unconscious, but it's faster to slap on, and I can stay in the standing position. So let's take a look at it. All I'm doing is making sure that my thumb is under his chin. I mean, this is obvious, but in the middle of a fight, you're adrenalized, you may not be able to feel it. Make sure you understand that you've got to get your, your uh, thumb across his neck like this. Then all I'm going to do is grab palm to palm like this. Now, I can push with my forearm this way and pull in like this and push with my shoulder this way. So this is more a street choke. It's not as technical. By street I mean if he doesn't know the defenses, it's going to work just fine on the street. And it's quite strong. Boom. Now, if the guy's really spazzing out or he knows what he's doing, I'm going to have to make a transition to groundwork. And that's going to be the topic of, of a different series because groundwork is a, is a complicated thing. But basically from here, you can see in you know, in, in judo old style, we, we would practice the position from here. You know, you see it's pretty easy to make a transition into groundwork. I put one hook in, I would fall to the side, and then I would put the other hook in. Okay, that's how you can better control the guy. If you want, you can start from here. This is usually how these chokes are taught. Now, the difference is between the technical and the street choke is if I want to use a figure four, usually called a lion kill, in, in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I need to get down farther. So this reduces a little bit of my mobility. From this looser, wider choke, I can stay up more upright and I can still get a, a power.